Carmen's Kitchen. I hope everybody is doing well and they're having an awesome, awesome Friday afternoon. Today, I'm going to be sharing a very simple recipe with you guys for sugar cake. And sugar cake is something that if you come from Guyana, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And for all my friends who don't know what it is, you will learn about it today and there's so many different kinds but today i'm going to show you two different ways how to make sugar cake and this is made out of coconut so guys if you come on down i'm going to take you to the journey of making two flavor of sugar cake okay guys so for the sugar cake i have one whole coconut grated and i grated it on my sit down grater and I show you guys how I did that before, so I didn't show it on this video. But the reason why I like to do it on a sit down grater when I'm making sugar cake or salar or something like that, I like the texture that it comes out with, like lace. It comes out like lace instead of um, when you grate it on a hand grater, it's like one, one fine pieces. But I like when the sugar cake is like that. It's really, really nice. They attach to each other like in a whole chunk. And I am making this sugar sugar cake two different ways. So when I was grating it, I didn't go too deep to the bottom. Some of it still managed to get in here, which is the little brown um, spot from the bottom of the coconut. But I'm trying to make today, I'm going to make the pink and white sugar cake. And for this reason, I have to use brown um, white sugar because for the white one if I use brown sugar it's gonna turn out brown but I'll use white sugar for the whole recipe and then I'm gonna show you guys how I do it two different ways with the same batch so if you guys come on down to the stove I'm gonna do the measurement let you guys see and it's gonna be a beautiful pink and white sugar cake so I'm adding one cup of coconut so this is the one coconut and the reason when you grate it with a sit down grater you tend to get a good nice amount from one coconut this is two because the what the sit down grater does it make it so fluffy that it looks more than the usual thing when you do it on a hand grater so I have two cups in there from that one coconut and it's so fluffy because the way it's done on that grater. So this is three cups. And this was a beautiful coconut. I show you guys how we got the water. It had a good portion of water. And in a, one of my previous videos, I, I mentioned how you know when a coconut is good. Make sure that you shake it. If you're buying in the store and you're not sure if it's a good coconut, you shake it to make sure that you can hear the water shaking inside and so three and a half cups of coconut and it's nice and fluffy look at that guys so i'm gonna wash my hands here because i'm just trying to take out all the little brown pieces because i want it to be as nice and white and pink as I, i'm trying to get it today so there are so many ways of making sugar cake guys there is um the way that you can add a whole bunch of different spices but today i'm just making a different kind so everybody would have a recipe for one of their favorite kind but there are so many different kinds that you can make so i'm gonna add into the sugar um into the coconut i'm gonna just try i'm trying to get my sugar out here from the container so today I mentioned I'm going to be using white sugar only because I'm looking to get that white part of the um, sugar cake and I'm adding one cup of sugar. So that's all I'm going to be adding into here because this will make it sweet. But Sorry. excuse you, um, I'm going to turn on my stove and then once the sugar gets heated, it's going to start melting and everything is going to start holding together. I'm just going to wash my hands quickly, guys. So, guys, we're going to give this a nice stir because we want the sugar to mix in well so it can start cooking evenly. And as I go along, I'm going to take out these um, little string that fell in from the shell of the coconut. And, guys, you can do this with um, coconut you can find grated coconut too 
if you can't where you live sometimes in some area you can't find um whole coconut you can also buy the grated coconut and do this as well so please guys if you if where you're living you can't find it don't hurt your head too much just use the grated coconut that you can buy in the store so i can hear the bottom of it is starting to sizzle that means it's cooking and once the sugar start melting everything is going to start holding together and then it's going to start getting like um it's going to bind and that's what you're looking for so i'm going to keep stirring and then i'll show you guys as we go along for now i'm just going to do this with the sugar and the coconut until it's nice and it's binding and then i'll show you guys the next step we are halfway there and the sugar is all melted and it's starting to become brown because you know when you melt sugar it usually get brown so i'm trying to control it from not getting brown because like i said i'm making the pink and white one but i won't be able to um make like avoid it from getting that brown a little bit of brown in it but i'll try my best not to get it too brown so remember we add one cup of sugar to three and a half cups of coconut and to bind it all nicely and make it like nice and gooey i'm gonna add half a cup of condensed milk because this is white and this is gonna help it to stay the way i want it's gonna add some sweetness and it's gonna make it's gonna make it extra creamy because um this will help it to get like a sticky kind of gooeyness to it so once this is mixed in well we will have a beautiful beautiful turnout so i'm just gonna mix this and then what i'll do to get my white part of it i will take out half of this mixture and then i will continue to add some flavor in the other half and make that to the pink part of it because if I add any spices in here right now, it's going to completely change the color to um, something brown or if, um, you know, make it to a different shade of white. And it's already a little bit dark here. I'm cooking it on medium, but it's, it's nice and holding nicely together like I'm, I'm looking for. So all of my friends who love coconut and who... Um, who remember this recipe from back home i hope it inspire you to try this or i hope it bring back some nice memory growing up with sugar cake my mom used to make this regularly for us and i wasn't a big fan of sugar cake when i was growing up because i was more on the salty side i like more salty things but as i get older once in a while i will have that craving for it so then I'll make it in my house. Jessica loves sweet, but this is one sweet that she's not too crazy about. But I know when I make it today, she's going to eat it for sure. But Matthew and Natalie would love this because they like coconut. And they like um, they like the flavor of um, the way I make this one. So guys, I'm going to take out now my half portion to, the, to be the white part. And then I'll show you guys what I'm doing with the pink part. So let me take out half and then I'll come right back and show you guys. Okay guys, so this is the other half of it. And this is the um, part that we're going to make the pink, pink sugar cake with. So I will add some more um, different ingredients in here. The white part, I didn't want to add the ingredients like I mentioned because it's going to change the color. So I'm going to add into here quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon so we're flavoring this part that we're making the pink one because look at this once i add the ground cinnamon it's the color change right away and that's quarter of a teaspoon and you can cook the coconut with the um with the whole cinnamon stick but guys because this is done cooking and it's um done i don't want to put the whole cinnamon because it's going to take longer to infuse right now so i'm just adding the ground cinnamon because this is going to get into every part right away so quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon i always keep a bottle of 
um, blend up ginger and the ginger I put in my tea or I use it for um, if I want to make something like a nice warm lemonade or something I have already have my organic ginger grind up so it's yellow because I did grind some organic turmeric before this so guys I'm adding quarter of a teaspoon of ginger and this is gonna give a nice flavor to this part you know what I'm gonna add half a teaspoon ginger gives sugar cake a really really nice flavor so guys quarter of a teaspoon of the cinnamon and if you're using cinnamon stick in the beginning you might have to put like a few pieces to get that flavor infused I find the ground one would infuse faster and then I'm gonna add into this part here and I want to keep the stove on low because this is already cooked I'm just trying to um to make it to add some more flavor and I am adding here half a teaspoon of I sorry I'm gonna add quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extra vanilla extract and this is going in right now so the pink sugar cake is going to be the flavor the one with a lot of different flavors so there is ginger there is cinnamon there is vanilla extract and now what i'm going to do i'm going to add a little bit of food coloring and i have red one so i just want to put one tiny dip of the red one and that's gonna give me pink so then I have to mix this in very well to make the color incorporate properly so I'm gonna just check this out as I mix and I can see some color is showing in right now but what I have to do now make sure that the color is neatly distributed all over this um, sugar cake and if this is not enough I'm just gonna add a little pinch more because I know this food coloring is really really rich and vibrant sometimes I add a little drop and I get like a bright bright red color and I don't want it to be red I just want it to be a nice pinkish color so I think this is gonna be enough and just a little pinch and guys you can put as much as you like you can put how you like it to look, but I, I'm just sprinkling that a little bit to make it nice and pink. So I guess I just have to mix it in. So guys, this is it, it's done. You just mix this in, make sure that the color is evenly distributed into the mixture. And there you're gonna have it, your pink sugar cake, this part, and this one you're gonna remember with the most flavor and the white one doesn't have too much flavor because you can't do too much with that or else you're gonna have a different color so I'm gonna keep mixing this once I finish I'll show you guys how it looks and then we will do the taste test once it's cold guys that is our finish look how beautiful it looks with one um, coconut we got um, two different flavors and two different colors so um, it is still sugar cake, but you can make it in so many ways. So guys, I had a little bit left over in the pan. So what I'm doing now, I am rolling them off into some little ball. And to do so, I have to wet my hands because after the sugar in here is um, dried out, it usually crumbles. So I have to make sure that I wet my hands properly and then I can um, roll them together. So I'm making these little wrong ones and then those ones I will cut them in small squares because you don't need a big big amount of this it's, it's really sweet you, all you need is a little small portion but uh, it, it's gonna be very nice and delicious Jessica what do you think mm. so this is the red one but the white one is gonna taste slightly different it is still sugar cake but it doesn't have as much flavor as this one and there's so many other ways like my mom used to make. So guys, down the line, I'll show you guys as we go. But this is something that is so easy. It took us like less than half an hour. Um, not half an hour, less than um, an hour, which is like 40, 40 to 45 minutes because 
I had to grate my coconut. So if you're not grating coconut, it you will probably do this faster than I did. But you should try this, guys. I'm gonna let it cool off because I wanna cut these ones at the back here in squares. And I want you guys to be able to see how beautiful it looks. And I will let you guys know how they taste. So I'm going to go. The best way to cut it is if you leave it a little in your fridge to cool off. And then you can um, you can cut it. But I'm going to leave it. And then I'll come back in a few minutes. By the time I clean up and wash out my dishes, they are going to be ready. This is it. It's nice and cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them into squares. And I had the four round ones that I made from the extra. And I'm going to display it in my coconut shell because the coconut shell is so, so cute. And it just reminds me of back home. And I just, I just, it, the idea just came to my head to just display them. So I just wet my knife in some clean water. And you want to take like a wrong tip knife, one like a bread knife or so. And then what you want to do, I'm going to make small pieces because... Uh, it is uh, something sweet and I don't want to give the kids too big of a piece when I'm giving them a treat. So I'm going to try to make it like into small pieces. And this one here, I'm going to do the same and I'll keep cutting these. And then once I finish, I'm going to show you guys how I'll display. Cut these and look how nice they are. Nice small pieces. So what I'm going to do, I keep the coconut shells. And I'm going to display them in the coconut shell because I think it is very nice to um, to put them in the coconut shell because it looks original. So these are nice small little ones. The girls taste piece, bits and pieces and they said it tastes so yummy and so good. So I guess this one with all the flavor is going to be very, very um very nice, Jessica, if you can move your hand over here so I can Sorry. get the rest out. Yeah, and um, I will. Look how nice that looks, Jess. Oh, that looks so yummy. And no, how about the display? What, that's what I'm it's talking pretty. about. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the coconut shell did and a good job. And I actually kind of like the color because white and red goes well. Yeah, but you know, when, I w when we were small and when we were like... Um, when me and my sister would play Dolly House, we used, used, used to use coconut shell sometimes to play with. So this is this is really, really nice that we can um that I can display now with the coconut shell. Oh, that's so cute. Right? So guys, I'm gonna cut out the um white one and then I will put it in the other coconut shell. Guys, here it is. Did you guys like my display? I just love coconut. You can do so much with coconut. You can make snacks and sweets and and do you guys like my display? And you can do you can cook them in food. You can do so much with coconut. I love coconut. So guys, I am doing this video because Jessica took a break to go and play Dolly House with Natalie in the basement. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go downstairs with these goodies and maybe we have a little snack party with the, um, with the sugar cake with the girls in the basement because they like when I go play with them. So I think I'm going to go down with this whole plate of goodness because Matthew and his dad is watching um, a movie upstairs and the girls are playing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go have a little snack party with the girls. Hi guys hi i'm here with some snacks for you guys how are you guys doing good you just guys are playing yeah. yeah so i want i came down to play dolly house with you guys and who's this guy sleeping in the bed that's, the oh, that's, daddy. Ken. that's, that's a daddy. daddy yeah okay so ken is sleeping <laughs> yeah yes and ken is that ken's closet that looks like some girly no. clothes that's um, the mommy the mommy yeah i, I like your lamp thank thanks you. Wow, that's a pretty room. And you put and shiny. We have um a, a f um flippy, flippy cover. Um, I cover. see your flippy cover. And can I have a balcony here? Yeah, yeah, they can look. Let me show you. Wow. They can they can look out like this. Okay, okay. Wow, nice. And, and how many floors your house three. has? Three. We floors? have a kitchen and a bathroom, a living room, and an upstairs. Look at elevator. Like 
Yeah. Look, there's an elevator so you can come down and you can go upstairs. Let to me the see. Room. This is your stairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, your stairs goes all the way up. Mm -hmm. And this is your living room. Yeah, this is the daughter, this is the mommy, and this is the dad. I like the sofa. Thanks. And your girl shoe is very nice. And what is she? this is a TV you have here? Yeah, yeah. That's and the this is the fire. Okay. Well, can you show me how you use your elevator, Natalie, to go up? Wait, wait, I didn't see. Okay. Is that your elevator? Yep, yeah. this is how okay, you Okay, so you're blocking me, Or babe. we can use this. Let me see your elevator. Wow, super. And you can so really... if you feel like taking the stairs, you take the stairs. And if you don't, then you go with the elevator. This one is to go downstairs and this one's to go upstairs. Oh, and... so one to go up and one to go down. And let me see, that's your kitchen? Yeah, this is the barbecue um thing. Oh, this is the fries. Okay. This is the pot. That's and your pot. This... Let me see. Wow, oven. nice. I guess we're chair. blocking everything. Beautiful. You have so a um a baby chair too. Yeah, and we have, we have the bathroom. we have the thing where you can put on your neck. And this is your washroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, your washroom is nice, and your bathtub. You guys have a beautiful house. I very much like your house. I'm so happy that I came to visit you guys today <laughs> in your nice little house. So, what is this little house in the back here? What is this house here? This is That's like, a tree house to the little girl. Oh, does yeah. the girl have a tree house? Yes. Yeah. Can, and we have Shopkins inside. Oh, let me see. Wow. Ooh. Let me see your tree house. How and we can put our Shopkins in there. Oh, Ooh, one of my Shopkins wow. are right. Wow. And That's I have one. nice. Your house can open and close. Yes. Wow. And what do and we you have, have a garage. over here? This, this looks like a stove a and a kitchen. Stuff. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's pretty. So you guys are making Mommy. stuff as well yeah and, and we what have is this big thing over here this is where the baby sits and you feed them oh that's a feeding chair and this, chair. Is, and this is like a little nursery. like a, this is oh, like okay. a shower and you put the baby so you can a put the diaper table. yeah and you can put them on there okay and yes. so this is her fridge well you guys have a very nice stuff and i'm happy that i came to visit today but I bring you guys a snack. So, do you guys have plates to eat these snacks? Uh, yes. Okay. So, if you guys take your plate out, let me see, Jess. Here. Oh, I love the plate. And you can take a pink one and a white one. And and then if you want to put one for me in this plate here um, as sure, well. Of course. I like your, the plate your shape of your plate yes. and i have to buy some of those for my kitchen <laughs> okay no i just need one pink and one no i don't need two white <laughs> sorry yeah okay. we're treating our guests okay so natalie did you start eating it mm -hmm. so which one, which one did you eat so far i took this one so good which one the, the pink? Um, pink one yeah okay how do you like it um it's um so good. Yeah. It has a, like a um a beautiful taste. Okay. So how which one you had a white? Mm -hmm. It's so good. I can taste the condensed milk inside oh, of yeah? it. Oh yeah. Is that one chewy? Mhm. Mm okay. Well, I'm very very happy to have this with you guys, and I guess I have to get a brighter light for you guys in this basement because it's a little bit dark. Or you guys like it this, this way? This one turns on, but it uh it, it doesn't turn on, on for yet? a long time. Okay. So, to, um, then you are going to, I'm going to try to see how I can get a little bit more brighter, but I love your, your house. I really, really love your beautiful house. The two, you, the two of you have. So we're going to share and we hopefully, okay, Matthew's here. Matthew, yeah. would you like, um, some goodies? Sure. Okay. You can sit here and eat it and let me know how you like. But I think I'm going to have to do a taste test. So guys, I'm going to taste with the girls because I'm doing Dolly House right now, as you guys can see. So I'm going to taste the white one first and I'll go with this one here. And the white one, guys, is a little bit more chewy and sticky. And for those who like sugar cake that is chewy and sticky, they will love this one. So, Mmm, so good, guys. So nice and chewy. Oh my god, a, a flavor is so nice. So this one is with the coconut, the sugar, and the condensed milk. But it have that nice chewy, sticky kind of texture, which is amazing for those who like that kind of texture. Mmm, 
guys i'm gonna try the pink one and the pink one will be a little bit more on the um farmer side because this one cooked a little bit more and so it dried up a little bit more but i'm gonna taste this one with the the had all the cinnamon and ginger and all that mm. this one is crumbling right away i taste the ginger flavor because ginger and coconut go so well so this one tastes right away you get that hint of the coconut but guys both have unique unique flavor because this the white one is chewy and this one you can taste the ginger the cinnamon um vanilla so they're both so delicious so i'm gonna take my other bite and this is for all my viewers and all my subscribers hope you guys are doing well hope you guys remember sugar cake in some way or form and i love coconut because it can do so much you can do so much with coconut and hope you guys like my display with the coconut shell so guys please enjoy your friday evening and i'm gonna be playing with the girls for a little bit more until then stay blessed and bye for now